So I've just got off Skype with Chris Reeve from the Talk Norwich City YouTube channel. Let's have a look at what he's got to say about tomorrow night's game. Derby day on Sunday, last minute, very exciting. Have you recovered emotionally from that? I mean, to, to be honest with you, no. Uh, my shin is still bleeding. Um, we, we were just everywhere. I mean, I flew six rows forward. I was almost... Our seats are actually right by the wall of the stand and at Norwich it isn't all joined together yeah. so almost fell over the edge um, but you know as these youngsters say limbs limbs were everywhere um, and it was a beautiful beautiful moment to dangle the carrot in front of Ipswich and then take it away in the literally last dying second yeah. it was something a bit different for Norwich City fans but yeah it was very enjoyable yeah. I only just recovered it was a bit of a strange day really I saw your comments after the game as well, and you mentioned that that was better than the playoff semi final. Was that a little bit tongue in cheek, or are you serious that you know a draw against your local rivals is better than a playoff win? Um, I think that was Jack that said that. By the way, I oh, sorry, said, sorry, sorry. Um, but but um, yeah, because I, I I I'm definitely of the opinion that you need to be beating. And to be honest with you, I'm disappointed we did we didn't get the three points. Yeah. Um, but it. To be honest with you, we didn't deserve to uh, to, to draw in Ipswich, in my opinion. And I thought that Ipswich probably had a better first half than yeah. our second half and executed the game plan quite well. But anyway, I'm not here to compliment Ipswich. <laughs> I'm here to probably compliment Wolves, which I'll go into a lot um, if you ask me the right question. OK, right. Well, I want to talk about Norwich, uh, first of all. So, 13th in the table. You're only eight points off the playoffs. Is there any realistic chance of you making up a late push for the playoffs? Your form hasn't been great last five games. One, two, mm. drawn two and lost one what do you reckon mm. well look there's always there's always a team that has a late charge into the playoffs and but also there's also a team that, that falls out um as well and you know i'm not it's, i'm not saying it's not impossible for Norwich city i think most Norwich city fans have succumbed to the fact that we're not going to do it this year um as you may or may not know uh, Norwich city have ripped the heart and soul out of our football club we've changed everything from the sporting director down to the toilet cleaner and mm. um, you guys have changed a lot as well but obviously Yours is uh, fueled by that. Yeah. Um, but look, you know, there's been a massive change um, at, at Norwich City and uh, it's just, it, it's all a bit, it's been hectic this season. It's been all over the shop. We've not been consistent enough. Mm. Um, and to be honest with you, I think a lot of Norwich fans will say to you that they probably actually would quite like to have a season in the Championship just to take a breath for a minute and go, right, OK, we've got this new German manager. We've got loads of new foreign players. I mean, this is the first time we've ever recruited a foreign manager, don't mm. forget. So, it's a big, big step for Norwich City. Yeah, I think there are quite a few parallels between Wolves and Norwich, certainly over the last 10 yeah. years or so. Uh, and I think you were see you seem to be where we were last season. And I think if you have a little bit of patience with Farker and Weber and all those the sort of backroom stuff, then next year, perhaps, because you're investing in youth as well, aren't you? Bringing younger German players in and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Trying to copy the, the Huddersfield model. But, uh, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because we've actually um, got rid of um, two two players that were massively un underperforming for us mm. who've ended up with you um, in, in Ryan Bennett and, and John Ruddy. And, um, you know, they, they've obviously done well for you this season. My argument, my argument personally is that I think they've got a better team around them, but fair play. I, I wish them the best of luck. Um, I still don't think John, John Ruddy is the best goalkeeper in the world. Well, um, but yeah, he's... He, when he comes under pressure, which he has done over the last couple of games, he's shown himself to be a little bit flappy and not as secure exactly. as when exactly. when they're games that we're in complete control he, and he's got nothing to do. He looks great because he'll only have to make one save a game and he can do that. Oh, yeah. Well. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. He does all the right stuff behind the scenes. and It's just c coming to collect the ball seems to be something that John potentially struggles with. I mean, we've got um, Angus Gunn in goal now and I'd, I'd take Angus over John Ruddy any day. Would you? How old is yeah. Angus Gunn now, and how highly do you rate him? Younger than me, wing face. <laughs> um, how highly do I rate him? He'll be in the Premier League next season, one hundred percent. Whether that be for uh, whether that be for a, a club that's just gone up, um, perhaps even yourselves, if you decide to switch on to getting a better goalkeeper, mm. um, or if Norwich City do manage to scrape the playoffs, who knows? Norwich fans and Norwich players, everyone at Norwich wants Angus to stay, but he'll be in the England team, uh, first team goalkeeper within the next two or three years for sure. But James Matson is the man you need to watch for. Well, that was my next question, because you always go on about him on your channel, very highly rated. Right, so. Tell me about him. What's so good well, about him? Well, um, James is a classy, uh, young, talented, uh, confident, tricky, agile player. Um, he has scored... 
10 goals uh, this season, I think, now, probably more. Uh, I think it's 10, actually. Um, he's scored, I think it's three quarters of our total goals, it, 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 which is unbelievable. And probably the reason why Norwich aren't doing so well. But no, um, look, J- James is an absolute class player and you need to man mark him, man mark him that's for sure. Yeah. Well, we've been after we were linked with him briefly in the January transfer window because we need an, a more attacking-minded uh, central midfielder. You can afford him. Well, if, 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 you can if, afford if, whoever we want. Let, I was going to say that if you've got thirty mil, you, you can have Madison uh, on us, right? It, well, we we would pay it, but I don't know whether we. Would. Well, exactly. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, thinking about tomorrow, then what are you most worried about? Uh, your 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 attacking players are class. I mean, Wolves has been the only team that have come to carry this season where I've thought, oh my god, um, you know this is a serious team. I mean, Huddersfield came to us last season, played us off the park, um, and and I knew from that moment that Huddersfield would would go up. But I mean, for Wolves, they are literally the only team in this league where I've thought Premier League team. Uh, you know, class in in pretty much every single position. Mm. Um, so for me, you've just got a plethora of, of options to, to, to damage us. And from a Norwich City point of view, I think it's just going to be a constant onslaught. I mean, our defence has been on keeping a clean sheet against you guys. So look, I would probably take a 2-0 loss straight away. <laughs> I've never heard that before, that we'd take a 2-0 loss. I, th- I think well, that you'd be, you'd be surprised because... Looking at the results, you'd think, oh, yeah, Wolves are great. They're top of the table and they're flying. Yeah. But since Christmas, there has been a, a not a struggle, but things have changed and things have become a little bit harder. Mm. Teams are playing us now for the second time and they're sussing us out a little bit more. And I don't think it's going to be as easy for us tomorrow as you were expecting it to be. I think well, the next two games that we've got, we've got you and then Fulham away on Saturday. Fulham away, obviously, tough, in form team. That, that's the bigger or more important game. So you may see some players rested tomorrow. You might see Benekafobi playing instead mm. of uh, Jota and players like that. So I think you've got more of a chance than you think. OK, well, I did notice that you flapped against Preston quite badly. What was that? Well, we played well, but then start of the second half, they came out really, really firing. And if they That's didn't right. have if they didn't have the red card, uh, then they'd have gone on and won the game. But and in hindsight, really, when they went down to ten men, we should have taken advantage. And they, they were half an hour, I think they were down to ten men, and yeah. we had one chance and scored it to equalise, and that was it. But look, b- b- before I before I actually have to go, I have to say Wolves absolutely deserve to be in the Premier League next season. They they seep class everywhere and, and I genuinely mean it I, I'm not just saying it because I'm on your channel I do think Wolves are an excellent team uh, I think you've been a sleeping giant for, for far too long yeah. and um, I do wish you the best of luck um, and for any Wolves fans that come the fancy watching down in the championship next season then go and subscribe to Talk Norwich City and, yeah. and we will entertain you with our um, our very strange um, very strange club <laughs> Well, I do highly recommend Chris's channel. It's a really entertaining, uh, and even though I've got no connection with Norwich at all, that your the way that your channel works, I've tried to copy a little bit in my uh, in my own little way. So thanks. Jack thanks Reeves, that. the man. Jack Reeves, head honcho. He yeah. is the boss, and um, yeah, he does a fine, fine job. I just, I just spout rubbish and hope I know. for the best. You got the fun bit. <laughs> Great to talk to you. And uh, what's your? Do you have an on the ball city? What's the wolves saying? Uh, wolves, a we. I'm not going to try that. Best of luck. Cheers. Uh, Maybe speak to you tomorrow or something after the game. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Great. Lovely, Chris. Thanks. Thank you very much to Chris for contributing to the channel. Thank you very much to you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And why not go and check out Talk Norwich City. They're very, very good at Norwich-based chat. See you next time. Bye-bye.